albums, even though That's they were despised Metallica at the time. Metallica fans hate them because, because they, they went very bluesy stuff, and rock yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but very accessible. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, but like, there's no, like, I mean, even when you're shitting on it, uh, like, I mean, Saint Anger is probably one of the worst ones. But even with that, it's not a bad album. There's still good songs on yeah, it. Yeah, few good tracks. Death Magnetic. I love I, Death Magnetic. Yeah, I never love listened it. to it because I was so put off by Saint Anger. Mm. Um, and there is some really, really good songs Absolute on that. bangers on that, yeah. yeah. Brilliant, and of course, mm. kill them all. I think kill them all is yeah. If you want, if you want, garage your, days revisited. Yeah. That's what you should go off and listen to. It's them it's doing cover covers. versions of yeah. songs that influenced them and stuff, mm-hmm. and uh, bands that they're into. It's a great, great, great album. So this is a weird thing with Metallica when you're trying to, trying to recommend stuff because you most just, of the just stuff listen is, to everything, listen yeah. to it all. It's all great. But Even like you, I'm not yeah. a big Metallica fan anymore. Like I. Mm. But, it has up my mind though uh, to several different like uh, bands and stuff that I would have listened to a few songs or maybe even a full album before and I didn't like them but there's other albums of theirs and it's kind of after encouraging me to go back to other bands that I wouldn't have necessarily liked before and try them out again give them a try again yeah yeah because yeah. I would have only heard one or two Metallica songs before and I would have been like eh that's not really my cup of tea mm. whereas now I'm kind of like do you know what I'm going to actually do a bit more research into other bands and try you know songs out from different albums and see what I think because I want to be mm. as open minded as I can with music so I think that's really important uh, as a note is if you don't like a band try out a different album and see what yeah. you think you well know, actually well, I, I, I tell you what, what you guys should probably have a go <laughs> sorry. of sorry mm. Mark um, I know you like symphonic metal and all the rest what you guys should probably have a listen to is the S&M album uh, yeah, out of all of the metallic think it, ones, I think it's you like, guys should try that. It's the the only thing that they did it where it's like a best of, but they did it with the the San Francisco like, yeah. Philharmonic um, Orchestra. It was a so massive deal yeah. at the time, like when they did. No metal band ever did anything. Like, no band actually did anything like. Not it really. Before. No, that's it. But um, it is. Um, yeah, it is kind of like their their greatest hits as such. But it's um, it's with the whole orchestral back, and obviously it's mm. they're still playing like proper rocky. It, it's not like sort of all mellowed mm. and slowed down or anything like that. But it's. Like I mean, Jesus, it's never been off my playlist ever since it came out. It's yeah. what twenty twenty years later, mm. twenty two years or whatever, twenty years or whatever. Yeah. But um, cool. yeah, so I'll definitely check that out. Honestly, mm. if you're going to check out now for Metallica, download S and M and get it on your Spotify list or whatever. But um, have a listen to that. It is all the kind of the big hits from all mm. of their albums, but um, with an orchestra back. And so I would imagine you'd probably like that. Well, I suppose now, yeah, with that, with the classic album, we might kind of like get into kind of recommending other trash mm. bands or going through trash bands and then we were going to plan on doing like the history of trash at some stage yeah uh, but this will be just like a little bit of a a taster a, a taster or a primer yeah. for it yeah so kind of like bands that like trash metal started off in the early 80s yeah um, but it, like it's renowned for kind of like coming from San Francisco Bay Area where Metallica were um, Anthrax were New York based there another mm. one so you have the big four um, which are Anthrax have you ever listened to any Anthrax stuff? Or do you even know who no, Anthrax is? I, 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 I've, I've heard the name in passing, but I, I couldn't even name you one song. Me neither. Mm. Um, they did a thing which was massive at the time. They kind of like Anthrax, uh, I suppose. I don't know if you could say take the blame or, or no. the, for, but they, they would have started rap metal. They started mm-hmm. doing stuff with Public Enemy went on tour. They did a uh, cover version with Public Enemy of one of Public Enemy songs called Bring the Noise. Uh, but they used to do kind of rap things at their own kind of like concerts where it was like I'm the man and stuff and people. So it was like a heavier version of the Beastie Boys. But mm-hmm. a lot of their songs are very, very trash metal. Um, they've had like a fucking... They've gone through three different singers over the years and they keep switching in and out nearly with them. Um, um, a lot of them are related and so not the singers, but the, the band themselves, their brothers or cousins. I think the brothers are cousins. But uh, it's, Brother I suppose, cousins. Scott Ian would be the, the main... The main well-known yeah, kind of face of Antrax. Uh, Antrax, they're a little bit faster than... Metallic, a little bit more punky, I think, mm. and tracks with stuff. But then the later stuff, they're more sort is a of little bit more with skate culture, I suppose, and all the yeah. rest. If you kind of, if you want but to their push. later stuff, kind of like you know, now it's more kind of, um, I don't know, kind of like some of the stuff is more sore. It's heavy, and I don't know, kind of more rock and roll. I think now than trash mm. to a certain point, um, and then kind of like, of course, it Megadeth. Which if you Who if you like be around without Metallica. Yeah, if you if you like Metallica you should go off and listen. Have, take it you've heard of Megadeth, have you? Uh, kind of like I'm to be honest, I looked up a few trash bands and stuff and I've heard of one or two, like I've heard of mm. Slayer, Metallica, uh Sepultura 
um, and what was the other one? Iron Maiden. That's about it, though. Yeah, I would I would have heard of Megadeth, but like for the most part, like um, the trash metal genre would not have been one I would have even delved deeply into at all. I would probably know, like if I started listening to them, I probably would know one or two songs, maybe from Anthrax or Megadeth that I didn't ever associate with them. Um, I would have known a couple that I would have known to associate with Metallica, but it would have been kind of a few and far between. Yeah, it would have been just in passing that I would have heard it, heard of it because I would have had friends who would have been into it. So I would have heard it in passing, but I never would have like outwardly sought out that kind of genre just mm. for me. But it's definitely something that I'd, I'd be interested in so, maybe. Yeah, so with Anthrax, where would you recommend um, listening to it or starting with them? Um, geez, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm not a mad, <laughs> massive uh, Anthrax fan, so just get the best of Anthrax. <laughs> <laughs> but the I best did, of Anthrax today, and yeah, you'll I, be... <laughs> like, I got into the Anthrax in the eight when they did, uh, like, Bring the Noise, and they did a, a, a song about Judge Dredd called I Am The Law, I think it was probably where... And a bit first, but like with the, the big, like with a lot of trash stuff, they were influenced like heavily by like um the new wave of British heavy metal, which would have been Iron Maiden. And I suppose Motorhead, mainly Motorhead. I suppose they would have been more influenced because Motorhead were just fast and really loud. Mm. There was nothing like Motorhead at the time. Like Motorhead, fucking mm. deafening people. Um, I definitely don't think I'd be into that at all. Mm. Um, but like it's so then kind of like trash metal kind of like original a lot of these uh, American bands kind of like not trying to copy him but I suppose influenced heavily by him uh, going off to their own stuff but Megadeth would have been formed by uh, Dave Mustaine who was the original guitarist in Metallica who they kicked out of the band because he was a drunk which is a bit like the fucking pot calling the kettle black um, <laughs> yeah. and it was just when they started getting successful when they got signed they were after moving off to LA they woke him up in the morning and they went uh, Dave or New York oh. they went Dave uh, here's a bus ticket back home and you're out in the sorry band. goodbye and he was like what That's a bit mean well it was a bit they yeah. literally they'd flown out to New York and um, they were just starting to do their first kind of big gigs mm. and um, he was just becoming a total liability like he was basically causing havoc and all the rest so they're kind of they're quietly on the side kind of going we can't have him in the band anymore and they're like hey there's this other guy called Kirk Hammett he's really good he's fantastic so they're after ringing him going hey Kirk will you come down and audition so he flew down and they're like he's really good so they just woke poor old Dave Mustaine up and they went um you're out of the band um off you pop and he's like oh, uh, okay so he's very upset and he's like right okay where's my plane ticket and they're like no plane ticket here's a bus ticket bye <laughs> so not even That's a plane so ticket back. I know yeah mm. well is in he fairness own, he's going to make his own trash band with blackjack and hookers <laughs> Mm. <laughs> this it was like this has been a kind of a feud that went on for the bones of 30 years I was going to say and he's been Megadeth so salty ever since built yeah. on the back of kind of like him wanting to get revenge uh, play faster and better and put out better songs with Metallic but he never quite got yeah. to the thing and he's had a on that documentary Some Kind of Monster I think it's the first time that they haven't talked with each other in years and he was like do you realise what you did to me kind of like all that I've had for fucking years is like assholes coming up to me going Metallica, <laughs> and he was like I could have been like in one of the biggest bands in the world but gee kind of like you didn't give me a chance you could have just turned around and said Dave look stop acting an asshole you could have helped me um, yeah you yeah. could have said just yeah. fucking calm it down mm. a bit and all the but rest. Megadeth are a fantastic band in That's their, the their own like, right like I mean their first yeah. couple of uh, Countdown to Extinction I think is probably up there one of the kind of like best known trash records mm. and kind of like but he's similar to Metallica with a lot of the stuff but there's a lot of um, it, it, it's a lot shreddier. faster it's a lot yeah. more shreddier but they're and a lot heavier in certain parts but there's not there is like dynamic kind mm. of like things as well where there's soft kind of bits and pieces but um and like very very long songs but yeah it'd be Dave Mustaine because he was like the lead guitarist there's a lot more it's, solos yeah he's, <laughs> um, he's determined to be very sort of show offy and all the rest yeah. he has all these spider chords and stuff like that it's so, a complex on him yeah, Pretty so much, yeah, yeah, you'd have people that are probably more into kind of like playing guitar, probably like Megadeth more so than Metallica. Mm. Um, um, they're good. Like Megadeth are still on the go. Yeah, and they said. In fact, actually, I think he's um, laying down vocals at the moment for another new album. So, uh, mm. yeah, oh, yeah he had just... fucking throat cancer. Yeah, exactly. He's on trauma coming all yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's like Megadeth are up there yeah. on the world, and then, but of course, then you have who a lot of people would associate trash metal with because Metallica I think outgrew the, the, the trash yeah. kind of like label and Megadeth to a certain extent and Anthrax kind of went off their own way as well mm-hmm. 
like anthrax just sound like anthrax I don't think you can um, you can't really label them yeah. but Slayer very yeah. much they were trash they I think they the, and they stuck with the label yeah. all through their career they did like whereas Metallica kind of did their own twists and mm. turns and same with Megadeth Slayer just kind of no nope, we're trash that's it yeah, we're going to they, just stick like, with their first album was it. a bit slow but like once they hit the kind of like they're destroyed yeah, yeah with Rain and Blood um would have been once they got that and it was so they, they they pretty much just stuck with that mm-hmm. kind of format for it like Rain of Blood was one of the fastest albums there as in like the running time too I think it's like around 20 minutes or pff, fuck I can't remember 22 minutes or something like that mm-hmm. um, which is crazy but it was just like breakneck speed kind of like singing about death and like you know horrible like people always got like say do you go on that Slayer were like fucking Nazis they're all Jewish yeah um it's like Chris Kiss as well like they're oh in league with Satan yeah. and like Slayer because they're using a lot of satanic image which they're using just kind of like to kind of like shock people yeah, I guess the most. yeah, yeah um, for the band they were like oh they're simple they're not like um, mm. see uh, the trouble well, was that it's the whole angel of death thing isn't it they're singing yeah. about Joseph, Joseph Mengele, Mengele. There was a lot and it's kind of like yes and it's like because mm. he did horrible things it's, mm. it's horrible imagery and it's like yeah but you're glorifying and it's like yeah. no we're singing about how shit I used to have was. nightmares of listening to that album when I was young when I got it at first what, what year did it come out 86, 86 fucking yeah. that's what I was going um, to say there's an awful lot only three years the, before I was born <laughs> there you go but well, an awful lot of the big trash metal albums all came out in 86 yeah you had Megadeth and Slayer and Master of Puppets mm. all emerged in 86 but Slayer have you ever listened to Slayer I would have heard some of their songs yeah mm. like, but I wouldn't have sat down and listened to the full album no. I think I'd, like the one I'd off the top of my head would be like Raining Blood uh, mm. it's a song um, and like I liked that song but I it kind of never as I said before it's never been something that triggered me going I want to know more about this mm. for me I um, it, I have to be honest if I had walked into a room and heard them playing I probably would have walked out again it really wasn't <laughs> my cup of tea at all mm. um, but I'm talking about when I was like a young teenager and I did a friend's mm. We're super into this kind of music, but it's definitely something I'd be willing to, you know, open up my mind to maybe try again. Mm. But I have a feeling it just wouldn't be for me. But you know, it maybe is. we can chat about it this again and we'll see if I might like yeah. it. That's Slayer are kind of relentless. There's there's no mm. sort of let up with them. They don't they don't tend very they're much to do slow breaks. songs. They, the worst song that they did was when they kind of deny it now. They're saying, "Oh no, that was just something we were expecting." They when new metal got really big mm. and Slayer because Slayer it's hard looking back on it now people are going oh Slayer Raw is big they weren't like mm. Rain and Blood was massive dang seasons in the abyss dang after that people kind of started kind of going oh well that was a, um, trash metal in general started falling away in sort of the mid 90s yeah. in general but yeah people were kind of going mm. off so they, they still had their die hard fans but they went off and they tried to do a new metal album basically mm. just to keep which up with uh, <laughs> the in thing did not go oh. down well. yeah, it was, there were still some good songs on it though but they did it as well there was a they did like a punk covers album as well saying oh well we were always putting so they kept changing you know mm. where it was but um uh, then I suppose outside of that you have the creator which I'm not overly familiar with but they're still you on see, the go that's the thing you have you've got American trash and then you have German trash I suppose mm. really you've got all I of quite that. like the creator the last mm. creator somewhere was Satan is real Satan <laughs> like, yeah. is real um, Testament probably would have been one of the ones that they didn't really make it mm. um as a, they're still on the go and they're still Chuck Billy he would have been like they would have yeah. been all part of that scene at the time they would be if it, I think just looking at the thing on Kerrang and it has if there was a big five Testament would be there and that's yeah. fairly yeah I remember Testament I didn't really know when they it was in the 90s when they had an album come out and listened to it and I thought they were fantastic mm. um, where they're not kind of like I don't know they seem I don't know they seem more modern mm. in the 90s then the, I think they were a bit ahead of their time, sound wise, mm. with stuff. Mm. Speaking of uh, modern, would there be more like it kind of the uh, trash bands you brought up there were kind of maybe older ones for the most part? Would there be newer modern kind of trash bands that you would listen to, or are those kind of trash bands more just replicating the sound of older ones? I th- I, there's one called it's a power. Oh, I can't take another, but it, it's still like on the go. Like there's still um. See, that's actually this is something that I was only complaining about recently enough. There's, it seems it it seems kind of a bit depressing that it's all the older bands that are still on the go, and there doesn't seem to be a huge amount of new talent coming up to take their place that are making it as big as the old ones 
still are, if you know what I mean. Slayer have retired. Like, I mean, they they played their farewell concerts there, what, last year, the year before? After, mm. like, oh, 40 years, basically. Be back. Like, oh, <laughs> they probably will be back at some stage. But, like, there's, there's a few new... 